Hi, my name is Lucio Trentini and I'm the CEO for SIPSA. And um, welcome back to all of you and welcome to 2022. So what can we expect this year? On the back of two terribly difficult years, um, what we do know for certain is that this year is going to be as difficult as the last two years have been. What we do know is that the steel industry is in a crisis due to a lack of clarity and purpose, capacity to be heard by government, decision makers and shapers of policy and a severe lack of demand. There are enormous challenges that lie ahead for all of us. Challenges across the broader business spectrum and not just within the collective bargaining space. What is therefore needed is a focused strategy. A single, powerful voice representing the views and concerns of all our associations, which in turn talk for and on behalf of their respective membership. A powerful CIFSA, I will put it to you, is best placed to lobby, advocate, debate and negotiate these issues on behalf of the industry. CIFSA is uniquely positioned to harness the considerable talents within the broader federation structure. More directly, lost ground must be recovered and stakeholder confidence and trust in CIFSA must be rebuilt. There exists an opportunity for CIFSA to be the platform for industry engagement with all stakeholders. CIFSA has an opportunity to draw on all stakeholders around a set of agreed goals, tangible objectives and clear outcomes. Importantly, all stakeholders within the sector must work together. South Africa needs to reposition for growth in key areas, agriculture, agro-processing, mining, manufacturing, urban development and rural infrastructure and development, water supply and storage, desalinization and recovery, transport, logistics and the low cost of energy. We simply have to create an enabling environment that is conducive to job creation. Our goal for 2022 will therefore be primarily focused on positioning CIPSA to be the voice of industry through lobbying, advocacy and collective bargaining. Our agenda for the year ahead will be focused on, amongst other, the following 10 key action points. One, steel input products and pricing. Two, skills development and human capital. Three, the bankability and transformation of the industry. Four, industry revival and inclusiveness. Five, electricity. Six, empowerment. Seven, imports, exports and international trade. Eight, engagements with the government's economic cluster. Nine, BRICS. And then lastly, and possibly most importantly, the steel master plan. With regards to the steel master plan, our aim is to lobby, advocate, and formulate an industry focus on the steel master plan deliverables that unlock opportunities and wins for our sector. Rather than allowing the steel master plan agenda to be driven by the Department of Trade, Industry and Competition. We look forward to working with all of you in the year ahead. Please support your associations. Get active and make your voice and views heard. Let's all work together towards making 2022 the year we begin to turn things around. Thank you.